Welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about another important API in Redux Toolkit called Create Slice. And this is what you're going to use in your day in day project when you're using Redux Toolkit. So, Create Slice combines both the, your Create Action and Create Reducer. And automatically, it generates your action types, your action creators, and your reducer. As that. All right, so let's get going into code. So here inside my Redux, so let me close all these and then collapse here. So inside my RSLC Redux and then slices here, let's copy this one and make this one old. So you're going to work on this one. Or better still, I can remove all the file from here, but in case you want to keep track of what you're doing, so I have copied one of this file here, this slice. So here, let's remove everything from this slice. This I'm going to work on. I'm going to make use of create slice. So here, let's import create slice from Redux Toolkit and as that. So here, we don't need create action. Okay, we don't need what create action because this create slice will create our action for us. That's how awesome create slice is. So we are going to even make our code even more simpler than before using create slice API or hook. All right, so let's export this. So let's see how to create, make use of create slice. So export const and this time around is what counter slices. Counter slices is equal to create slice. And this takes what object as our configuration. And better still, we need to have our initial state. So let me call this one initial state. So cons initial state is going to be my object with a value of zero by default. So the first argument this one take is called name. This name represents a particular slice you are handling. So assuming in your application, you have users post and comment, right? So you're going to have um, comment slices user slices so the name must be different across all your slices right and the second argument is going to be what your initial state and the third is going to be your reducers right and it's an object so this great slice going to create both our action action types or action creators for us and our reducers for us automatically without us calling our create action and create our own action so let's see how it's done all right, so inside here, reduces, we are going to map a name, increment. So this one represents my action, increment, right? And you pass in, assign to a function, and this function, we have access to our state and our action, right, in there. But for now, so state and action, like that. All right, so here, we can even mutate the state here without affecting our state. So dot value plus plus. Okay, so now we have our action, our counter slice. There is no action. So now let's generate the action types automatically for us. So generate the action creators. Okay, so export let's export all these const is equal to we bring our counter slices and on that we have what is called actions you see that and whatever we map here becomes our action so here is what increment as that and next is what let's export our reducer so now we have our action being exported and now it's going to be what the next one is going to be the reduces. So here, export reducer. So we're going to be export default. And then our counter slices, right? And dot what? Reducer. So as you see that this function give us two things our actions and our reducers 
so if you save this one let's check our application and it says that decrement is not exported from counter slice um increment watch slice so let's go back to our store maybe i think the import had changed oh so let's check again the error what is saying in the app decrement is not exported oh because we are exporting this as a multiple here inside our app the import will be changed so let's go here where is it yeah you only have one action you don't have this one so let's remove so let's export or better still let's comment this one for now and then here let's comment the one we are not using for now and let's see what we have the error that we are going to get again like so so the better store increment is not oh sorry is it the way i name it is what increment like this and then let's pass the increment i think spell mistake like that and there you go all right but if you go back to our store the import has changed so let's go to our store and then instead of requiring the counter slice we are going to import our slice only so here import let me call this one counter slide counter reducer and it's from our what slices and counter slices so here i will map this one to that and let's see what we have there we go it says that make sure yeah i don't need to refresh my application all right did you see that now we have our um so the difference the back we are facing was that we need to first because we don't have the slices right you need to bring in the reducer from this slice and inside our app to the name changed because i name here increment right so here you see how we are handling it inside that so here we can copy this one and then paste it make this one what decrement and then instead of plus plus it's going to be what minus minus sorry like that and then let's generate going to be what decrement and let's go with our app and then import decrement and then let's copy one of this button here and let's dispatch that so here is what decrement so let's save it go about application refresh it okay it's minus not plus yeah okay there we go did you see that our action has been dispatched and go back to dev extension 2 we have counter action being dispatched as that all right so next thing gonna be what how to pass a payload so here gonna be what increase amount so the same process increase by amount the same process and then states dot value plus equal to your action that payload and then let's export from this action creator like that and let's go back to our app and then let's require this function action and here let's copy one of this button here and let's change here gonna be increase by amount and then here is what increase no increase by amount and let's pass in 100 <laughs> okay let's see let's refresh it and increase by 100 and then this Okay, guys, that's all what you need to know about crit slice.